what up youtube uh this is uh creative writing studios back with another video i saw this on instagram someone had a this uh title or this quote in their bio said that jesus is my husband or christ is my husband and i googled this and i realized there was a lot of content about being uh christ or god or, or jesus being your husband uh that's directed towards women and um, I wanted to point this out to brothers who may be in the church system, may date a woman who's um, in the church and uh, she makes a statement like this, that she's married to Christ. Um, I made a video a while back called The Origins of Feminism and uh, how it uh, goes back to the worship of the mother goddess, or whether you wanna call her the queen of heaven or you call her Astarte or Diana or Artemis or Anoth in Canaan. Um, they're all talking about the same entity. Uh, and a lot of these women nowadays are liberal. They're uh, modern day feminists or at least uh, womanists. So they embrace those ideologies from the ancient days or the ancient culture and they just modernize it now and they call themselves liberated or fem uh, feminists, even if they don't even identify with feminism. But uh, when a woman says that Christ or God or Jesus is their husband, She's saying that she's the bride of, you know, the, a, a really of a deity. She's calling herself a deity. She's calling herself a mother goddess because what else could she be saying if she thinks that Christ is her bride, is her husband. She's the bride of Christ. And, um, you know, women have to understand that, you know, you're not worthy to be the bride of Christ. Christ is not marrying you. The bride of Christ is the church which is the elect of Israel. You know, your job as a woman is to be in a relationship and to be a wife to a earthly man. That's your job, uh, to serve him and to make him happy, make your family happy. A lot of women don't like that, but that's what your role is as a woman. That's what you were created to, to be. And as a man, your job is to make the most high happy by doing what he told you to do and to generate happiness from doing your role. The same way the woman generates happy from making you happy, you as a man generate happiness from doing what the most high created you to do. That's the order. And when y'all come together, y'all create a relationship full of joy because y'all know each other's role and you know what your role is and y'all can fit together compliment like a lock and a key. That's what our true relationship is all about. You two working together because the most high created male and female in his own image. So they have aspects to each other that are meant to work with each other in order to help do what the Most High created to do and also to fight against the adversary. But going back to this main topic, I, I just wanna warn brothers, that's a red flag when a woman says that Christ is their, is their husband because really she's saying that she's not good enough for her or you're not good enough as an earthly man to be the consort of her, you know? Um, a lot of women, they really believe that they can directly have a uh, spiritual connection with the most high without any man. And I, I've said this before, a woman gets her connection, um, her, um, her uh, inspiration or her direction from the most high through the man. That's the order, just as the most high is the head of Christ, Christ is the head of the man, the man is the head of the woman. And of course, some women are not married. They still have a headship, whether it be her father or her brothers or her, uh, or her men in the family or her pastor. Some man is over her life if she's in a, in a state of, uh, of spiritual servitude towards the most high. Because a woman has to learn the scriptures from a man. It's, it's, it's almost impossible for her to really know her role without a man who is of some type of understanding in order to give her some purpose and direction on what she needs to be. Because otherwise she's gonna be aimless and she's gonna end up, you know, just be, a, you know, just end up in a lot of trouble, whether it's be sexual promiscuity or, you know, just end up in a, just in a bad situation. So that's what the role is uh, for the woman. Um, and we as men, we have to understand our role. So the women don't feel like they have to usurp our role because that's the chain of command you can't break the chain of command 
or else you're gonna have disorder. And we have a lot of disorder in our community. So we have to make sure we establish things the right way. All right, man.